Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be talking about how to scan to folder on a Canon printer. This could be a Canon MFP or any kind of Canon printer. So let's get started. So to begin, uh, we're going to walk through this five steps, install required feature, set up a user, create a share folder and give them permission. Also log into the web interface uh, with IP address and test and notify. Also don't forget to check out any other videos on this channel, how to scan to email. Uh, to your Canon printer or how to install a vast antivirus. Also, there's quite a bit of unboxing videos also available on the channels. Also, thanks to our sponsor, TrueParkings.com, where you can find or list your parking spot and start earning money by renting your parking slots. So let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and install a required feature. So go ahead and go to your desktop, go ahead and click on Start Menu, and go ahead and type in Control Panel. Once you type in Control Panel, uh, you may see uh, this kind of view, but we're going to change it. Go ahead and click on Categories, click on Large Icons, and once you click on Large Icons, go ahead and click on Programs and Features. Under Programs and Features, on the left-hand left side, we're going to click on Turn Windows Feature On or Off. And once you do that, go ahead and go ahead and scroll all down and find SMB 1.0 CFIS File, sh file Sharing Support. Go ahead and click on that and make sure all of these threes are selected and go ahead and click OK. Uh, okay guys, so now we're done with step one. So let's go ahead and go to step two, set up a user. Go ahead and click on your start menu and type in this PC. Once this opens up, go ahead and right click on this PC and go ahead and click on manage. And once you click on manage, it's gonna it's gonna prompt open this uh, this section. So once this section opens up, go ahead and click on local users and groups, and click on users. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a new user called Scan. Uh, username is Scan. Uh, full name is Scan. User, if you want. Description, if you want to put it in. I'm gonna keep the password to Scan simple as possible. Again, uh, confirm the password and uncheck this box. User cannot change the password. Uh, user cannot change the password and password never expires and go ahead and click create and once you go ahead and click create you will see a scan user is now created now go ahead and go to under groups and find administrators and under administrators go ahead and click add and type in scan and click on check names and as you see surface slash scan has found the user go ahead and click ok and now apply this gives it uh, enough permission to go ahead and uh, scan uh, to that folder so uh, another way to add a user is go ahead and type in users and this should pop up on windows 10 and edit or remove other users once you click on that uh, go ahead and click add someone else to this pc uh, and once you see that uh, go ahead and click on i don't have uh, uh, this person sign in information and once you uh, once this pops up then add a user without Microsoft account and we're just gonna call this scan to password is scan I can't create the same user but if you don't see that you can just pop this in and go ahead and fill this information out I'm just gonna keep this very generic um, you guys can set it up if you want I'm gonna name it all the same so scan 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 and as you see scan to user has been added and click on that go ahead and click on change account type and make sure you make that an admi administrator so on the uh, going forward in the video i'm going to use the scan user that we created first but the process is the same uh, so once you add this user go ahead and uh, click close and now we're going to go to uh, windows explorer icon uh, go ahead and click on this pc go ahead and go to your c drive and right click here and click on create new folder and we're going to name this folder scan folder okay so under the scan folder go ahead and right click on the folder click on the properties and go ahead and click on the go to the sharing tab under sharing tab go ahead and click on share uh, and uh, go ahead and type in scan that user that we added and click add and go ahead and give it read and write permissions and go ahead and click on share now once that happened it gives you the path here this is my computer name surface slash scan also we need to share this folder uh, advanced so go ahead and click on properties um, and then go ahead and click on advanced sharing and go ahead and click on permissions so once you click on permissions go ahead and click add here we're going to name go ahead and add a user call scan again and click ok once you do that go ahead and click on the scan users uh, check full 
full control and change control and click OK and click apply and click OK. So at this point now we're done with step uh, two and step three at this point. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and go to the printer. So go ahead and click on control panel. If you know your IP address already, you can skip this step, but under device and printers, if your printers are installed, uh, go ahead and right click. This is the printer I'm using. This is the Canon printer. And go ahead and click on the printer properties. Once you click on the printer properties, and go ahead and click on ports. And if you expand this, if you scroll up and down, you'll see one check mark that has the IP address. So in my case, my IP address is 10.10.11.253. So I'm going to make a note of that and I'm going to go to my browser, which is Chrome, and I'm going to go to that IP address 10.10.11.253. This is the interface. So I'll click on the management mode and the default username is admin. So go ahead and type that in. If you have a password set up, go ahead and log in with that. Okay, so once you go ahead and log in, go ahead and click on the address book tab. And under the address book tab, under one touch, feature go ahead and pick the first um, first user in here we're gonna add the SMB path and the folder path to go ahead and scan to that folder okay so once your screen screen loads up go ahead and click on file type SMB go ahead and click OK and it should bring you to the next page so right here I'm gonna call it a test user uh, host name is your computer name to find that out go ahead and click on start and type this PC go ahead and right click on this PC and go ahead and go to the properties uh, and once you click on the properties this computer name is your host name in my case it's called surface I click on change settings and I'll just copy it from here right click copy and once you once you do that go ahead and paste that in and the folder path is scan and that is the folder that we created and we're gonna add a for a slash it, and this would put all the files inside that folder so we're going to assign the username username is surface which is my host name slash um the username that i created which is scan if you created scan to put that in go ahead and click on set password and here we're going to put the password scan that i've added and go ahead and click ok so now a uh, moment of truth we are done with the login into the printer and set, setting that up uh, also if you don't know the ip address you can go in uh, and go to your printer and go to the network settings and find that out now we're going to go ahead and test go ahead and go to your, this pc c drive and go ahead and go to the, uh, my scanner and i'm going to scan something for you guys okay guys so i have scanned document as you guys can see it just showed up so at this point i'm going to open the document uh it looks like it's working so don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video all those thanks for watching have a fantastic day ahead thank you bye bye